Today we're going to be making a chicken, vegetables, and rice stir fry. You can find us on Facebook at Kudra Cabin Creations and on this channel. If you are new, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and click that bell to be notified when we upload a new video. This meal is very simple. We're just going to start with one large pan and then a smaller pan to the side on our stove. I'm going to take about a pound, maybe about a pound and a half of boneless skinless chicken breasts and then I'm going to be cutting it into skinny small strips. So I'm taking a larger bag, the 14 ounce size of pepper stir fry. This has red, green, and yellow peppers, and then also some onions. You can use fresh ones if you want to, but I'm gonna be using the whole bag, putting that along with the chicken into my larger pan, and then I'm just gonna cook this until the chicken is cooked and also the vegetables are softened. Again, we're keeping this meal very simple, so we're using the frozen vegetables and then uh, if you wanted to use a rotisserie chicken or some cooked chicken, that also is also very easy. But um, if you just want to use the chicken that I've shown and then also fresh ones, that's fine too. But I am going to be keeping the juice that you see right in here because when I'm adding this um, stir fry mix, this is going to help with flavoring. Now this meal is a little higher in sodium because I am using the packets, but if you have stir fry seasonings that you prefer to use at home, definitely do that. And leave us a comment if you have a recipe that you like to use. This is the usual type of stir fry packet that I usually get, but our store was out of it, so that's why I was using the yellow packet that I showed earlier. And we're just going to pour this right into our mixture once it is thoroughly cooked my smaller pan I'm heating up some minute rice I'm using the white rice I did about two cups a little over two cups you can keep this white rice to keep it simple but I'm gonna be using this better than bouillon um, chicken substance rather than using um, chicken cubes this gives my rice a lot of nice good flavor but if you can't have too much sodium then I definitely would not recommend that I'm going to use about two teaspoons of that better than bouillon in my rice and then I'm going to stir that in and we can plate this. I'm going to start out with my rice. You can see it is more yellow in color. This gives it a nice chickeny flavor. Then we'll just top this rice with our chicken and vegetable mixture. And that's it guys, super simple and delicious. I'm gonna give this meal a 10 out of 10. I would prefer the seasoning that I did show you guys earlier, but the one we did have was okay too. Thanks for watching guys, please subscribe.